My name is Mike DeJagger. I'm a project manager in facilities engineering in the physical plant department, and I'm looking after the uh, Claudette Mikhailasan Pavilion construction. The, the generic name is the Green Building. This is intended to be a LEED certified project. We're targeting the gold level of certification, and the LEED is a leadership in energy and environmental design. So that entails building something that is sustainable, energy efficient, and has uh, the least impact on the environment in terms of energy consumption, materials that are used, and everything that it takes to operate the building when it's all done. There are a number of different features in the building that don't happen elsewhere on campus. Uh, we collect rainwater off the roof and collect it in a cistern that's in the ground underneath near the front entrance of the building. That rainwater that's collected comes back into the building and is used for flushing toilets and urinals throughout. So the water gets a second use. On the roof level, there are photovoltaic cells, uh, fo uh, solar cells that generate electricity. There's also a wind turbine that generates electricity and that comes back into the building and is used under the right conditions to turn on the lights in the corridors. Also on the roof is a green roof, a vegetated planted roof, and that's there to absorb rainwater, to help keep the area cool, and also it's going to be used for research. There's a lighting control system in the building that will turn some of the lights off automatically if there's a lot of daylight, and then turn them back on again if it's cloudy. A lot of the materials that are used in the building are all from a local region. In the courtyard beside us, uh, right now, they're working on a ground source heat loop system. And that is uh, to help with air conditioning and heating in the building. There's a series of pipes in the ground that circulate water through it, and it either absorbs the heat from the ground in the winter, or it absorbs the cooling effect of the ground in the summer, brings it back into the building through heat pumps in this area here where we are, and does the heating and cooling in this area of the building. So we don't have to use natural gas, we don't have to use electricity to generate chilled water to do the heating and cooling. It's all taken care of by uh, ground conditions in the area. One of the ideas that we had and one of the visions that Franco Baruti had at the beginning was to use the building for teaching students and showing visitors how it functions and what it's doing to become a, a, a sustainable, energy efficient building. The mechanical and electrical systems here are monitored through a, a building automation system, a digital control system. And we've also added a lot of other points and sensors, temperature probes, uh, monitoring points that will be all coming back into this digital control system. The idea is that students, researchers, faculty, visitors can come in and see what's happening in this building in terms of the electrical and mechanical systems. We're expecting to have the building opened for students to arrive after the Labor Day weekend. Ultimately, everything done for the grand opening on the homecoming weekend.